Hi, Twin Flames, getting right into your Divine Masculine reading, all right? Um, we are coming across this full moon in uh, Taurus, actually, on Friday here. It is a lunar eclipse. It is a huge full moon, so um, be prepared to release, guys. If you guys don't really know what full moons are, full moons offers us a chance to release what no longer serves us, all right? Eclipse brings in sudden changes, revelations that kind of forces us to explore options outside of our comfort zones and is meant for growth here. So overall energy with the Divine Masculines is the King of Cups. Your Divine Masculine could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but they're working towards something. And as you can see here, this Cancer energy, there's movement. So they're working on movement, and I feel like with the with the six of pentacles in reverse, they're they're realizing um, how much they didn't give to your connection here. They also could be dealing with the karmic they have gotten out of a financial situation here, where now we have the three of pentacles, three of coins in this deck with the six of pentacles in reverse. So if you kind of notice this, this three of pentacles is half six, right? So they kind of gotten out of that. This is why the six of pentacles is in reverse. I hope I kind of explain that. <laughs> correctly here. We also have the Hermit in reverse with the Virgo energy, the Five of Cups. If you're dealing with the Virgo Divine Masculine, they're kind of finally getting out of this sadness, this um, guilt that they feel um, about how your connection ended, all right? We also have the High Priestess. So they're following their intuition. They're working on um, what they want in regards to love here, you know, and they're finally choosing themselves first. You know, Divine Feminist, you've been choosing yourself first from um, the start of the, your separation for some of you here because you have grown you have filled your cup So your divine masculine is catching up. This is why their overall energy here is the king of cups energy You know, they don't want to feel um, left out in the cold anymore, you know So it's major growth for them definitely is is beautiful energy They're finally putting in work this full moon on Friday is going to awaken them and realize that something has to give like i have to be happy now like and i have to remove people that no longer makes me happy to get my stability my union here with my divine feminine we have the knight of wands again they want to come in passionately here but but they can't they can't you know they they have to come in as the emperor energy so like i said they're still working on this from the knight of wands to the emperor they're still growing here filling their cup but for some of you, it's only going to be a matter of time that they're going to get over this disappointment and come towards you, right? Because now we have two different decks, the King and the Queen of Cups. Like I said, they're catching up to um, to your level, right? With this Ace of Cups, all right? So <laughs> let's keep going. We have the Cherry in reverse with the Page of Cups in reverse. King of Cups again, wow. All right, we're so dealing with the water sign there. <laughs> They're coming for it. You might hear from them this weekend. Because they're they've done the work, they've done the healing. They're no longer um feeling like this heartbreak over you. they 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 have their emotions in check as the King of Cups and they're they're coming in. I just want to see what they have to say here. This divine masculine, this eager king of cups. What do they want to tell you? I don't know if I'm cut out for this. They're gonna be really honest with you. I'm still trying to find myself. And I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me in the past here. You're the only person that truly gives me. So I feel like they're going to explain why you guys were in separation. The reason they were distanced was for some of them. Again, yes, karmics were involved, but they're trying to figure out themselves. This is why it took so long. Again, they want to make sure their cup is filled before they come to you with anything. This is why the King of Cups is showing up twice here. You know, they're, they know that they have to be very serious, right? when they come and speak to you so we have the six of pentacles in reverse seven of wands in reverse and the queen of swords this is that karmic energy that i was feeling this karmic was being sneaky lying or hiding about money they took the divine masculines through the ringer here definitely trapped them we know that manipulation here um this is definitely ended with the eight of wands in reverse and the tower in reverse this full moon is really gonna um kind of make that push for them to finally become unstuck and leave because we have the king of swords in reverse with the queen of swords in reverse this is a lot of arguing when the lovers is in reverse as well um with the six of wands in reverse uh just heavy toxic codependent energy here in this palace of swords i mean if they're living with the karmic king and queen of swords with the palace of swords it's not good it's a lot of arguing um 
uh, this karmic I'm getting has been like blowing up the divine masculine phone. Like whenever they're at work or they go out, they can never catch a break because they're always wanting uh, the divine masculine to check in. And it's just draining and, you know, universe is pushing them out of this. All right. This is a two of wands in reverse. The moon here, Pisces energy. They don't, they don't know if you're going to accept their cup. They really don't. Especially they were dealing with this karma. You know, they left this karma and it's like, how can I come forward to my divine feminine when I just left the situation, right? So they're kind of hiding this. They're not um, going to tell you this. For some of you right away over the weekend, they might just reach out with a simple text to check up on you. But it's kind of like an alley-oop, you know? Like, they don't know if you're going to um, kind of give in, you know? It all comes down to timing, exactly. That's what I was getting the pull. I know I made a huge mistake. Yeah, it comes down to timing. Because I feel like I was fumbling over my words. But <laughs> thanks. Thanks to my masculine. It's timing. It's on when I want to. For some of them, maybe two weeks. Others, two months. Because I know this is, a, this is a collective reading. So a lot of uh, time frames are going to come out for my twins. We have the Hermit in reverse. This Virgo energy. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're dropping these wands. Like I said, this Virgo has is doing the healing they have. Now they're just focusing on their um, own cup um they're done being harsh with themselves as well. You know, I'm stupid for letting divine feminine go. I'm such an idiot. Like, my friends were telling me they were the one, and all I did was suppress my feelings. Like, how could I do that? That run of, yeah, denial. Going back and forth with their heads. So detached with love to clearly see the truth. I feel like this is kind of what they did with the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have intuition. You already know the answers you seek. And yeah, it all comes down to timing because it's apology. You are going to get it. Again, Five of Cups is in reverse. They are going to speak their truth, speak how they feel. When the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups is here, this is strong energy, right? We have the Knight of Swords here with you and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Five of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Cups. They're coming out as you got for stabbing you in the back. And you know what? Believe it or not, Divine Feminines, you know, you may feel like that, that they didn't give a damn, that they didn't care. But this Divine Masculine, for some of them, is down and out. This is why their King of Cups energy is so strong right now. Because they've gone through hell or are going through hell. And this full moon is really awakening them to, to realize that you didn't deserve that. And it's like now they're trying to come to good terms with you because you see the sun in the background. Here you are. Clarify this Ten of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. Not surprised. We also have Golden Mirror, Self Absorbed. Yeah, narcissists, because they were at one point, especially if they were dealing with the karmic. They're gonna, they're, they think that you don't want them, that they're not enough. You're not dealing with them. You're avoiding them. You, For some of you, you block them because they hurt you so damn bad. And it's like they don't want to confuse the situation even more if they come in right now. So that's why, again, there's that hesitancy. We have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence. Yeah. But some of them, they're also jealous because it's like, you made the healthy choices in, in life. You're growing, you're shining, and they're dealing with some crazy ass shit with the karmics for some of them. You know, um, even with karmics with their work schedules. You know, karmics doesn't always have to be lovers. It could be career and work. You know, they finally got their schedule down to where they can finally um, work, to where they can finally um have time to see you to have time to actually have a relationship here so as you have made healthier choices like i said they're catching up so are, have they so are they are doing that right now with the ace of cups trying to be happier five of wands in reverse this card wanted to come out yeah common relationship they're making healthy choices to get out of that yeah being single here these cards just wanted to fly out this didn't manifest the way they wanted to with that karmic oh my god these cards are just Flying out. I don't know. I got. I got to do a karmic reading because, wow, these cards, judgment is here with the four of pentacles in reverse. It's like they want me to tell you that it's done. It's done. We have the high priestess with the two of cups in reverse, nine of cups in reverse, the three of cups. Yeah, that third party is no longer there. And as you can see, we have the two of cups with the nine of cups equals the three of cups as well. So again, thinking about the past, thinking about you, which can equal the six of cups. I'm kind of done being overwhelmed here. Just kind of figuring out if their plan is going to work with the seven of pentacles. Their cups are um, completely empty. 
which is why the Ace of Cups here, they're just focusing on work right now for some of them, just kind of putting their feelings on the back burner. Like I said, for the over energy is the King of Cups. They're, they're, they're um, transforming into this, right? Your person could be a Sagittarius, Divine Masculine here. They feel left out in the cold. They feel disappointed. They, I'm getting from the Sagittarius that I have no idea what you're up to. I have no idea how you are. I have no idea how you're doing. And just for Divine Masculines in general, they have no idea how you are. They think you're so angry at them. That you're just like, no, you know, you're literally like this, not today. <laughs> With the Queen of Wands and where did it go? Sorry, I lost it. Yeah, you're literally like this, not today card. I don't, you know, talk to the hand type thing. I don't want nothing to do with you. You completely, I like, you don't serve me at all. Like, I feel nothing. But they're coming in with the message. So let's see what this is about. The Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. What is this message to you? I'm also going to be doing love messages as well. I want to tell you how I feel. Duh, we have the Ace of Cups here. Oh, that judgment. That was just over there. All right. Anything else with this Page of Pentacles? What's your intent? I know I crossed the line with you. I replay our conversations over and over, which is, I'm not surprised because we have cassette tape, outdated thinking, replaying events over and over in your head. I mean, whew, this full moon is kicking their ass. <laughs> what is their intent right now? I just kind of saw the death card, that Scorpio energy. What is their intent? To build a stable life with you? To marry you with the Hierophant. We have Taurus energy. That full moon in Taurus. Again, Friday. Um, you know, with the full moon in Taurus as well, it's all about um, checking off what's ready to be changed. Again, all of our intuitions are heightening. We all are kind of in this hermit mode. But the action stuff that this Divine Masculine want to take is um, a commitment, stability here. You know, something that's stable because the love is already there. You guys already have this connection. Anything else for my divine masculines? Soulmate. Yeah, your soulmates with you already in spirit. They know that, which is why they never, like, um, felt you really walk away here. You know, you were always with them energetically. But we have your soulmates already with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will manifest physically. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. That's why Herman is there. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. Yeah, because they're not showing their true feelings right now. Love yourself first. They admire that. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. If you don't hear from them this weekend, around Thanksgiving, of course, they always try to come back around Thanksgiving, right? While you were with family here. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get right into the Divine Masculine Love messages to you and then get into the karmic reading. All right, guys? Take care.